Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over a uh, quiz that you recently had on the if and or functions, so some logic functions. You were presented with a sample worksheet, and you had to create this little mini worksheet of mock data and the problem in question. Ultimately, your goal is to calculate the bonus for the particular employee based on two criteria, their experience level and if they have a certification, yes or no. Um, let me go ahead and delete this information that will ultimately contain the answers. So the problem is, if the person has nine or more years of experience and, that's the key word right there, and is certified, their bonus is $100 times the number of years of experience. Otherwise, their bonus is $50 times the number of years of experience. So there's two things that need to occur in order to get the top bonus of 100 times years. They need to have nine plus years of experience and they also need to have a certification so since there's two things that need to be true the AND function is ideal just because we're using the AND function though doesn't mean we don't use the IF function because there's really two possible scenarios either the hundred dollars times years or the fifty dollars times years one or the other is going to be true so I'm going to go ahead and start off here and I'm just going to work on my first person and this is the criteria this is the rule for you is that if you can write the formula once for one row and autofill it down then you've got it well written you don't want to have to rewrite the formula for individual employees people whatever because what if you've got hundreds or thousands so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do my work here in D2 which is for my first person and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with an equals function actually I'd like to zoom in just a bit more so I'm gonna kinda of hide my problem a little bit off screen but I just wanna zoom in here Okay, and I'm going to write equals if. Now the first thing that the if function asks me for is my logical test. And I know for my test to be true, there's going to be two things, two criteria. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in an and function, a complete and function. And I'm going to kind of ignore that for a second, just put it on the back burner, and then I'm going to move on. So I'm still focused on my if function. What if it's true? What if they've got nine plus years of experience and they're certified? Well, then it's going to be $100 times the number of years of experience, comma. Now I'm still in my if function. What's the false result? Well, if, if it's false, if they don't have nine plus years of experience and not certifi certified, then it's going to be $50 times years of experience. Okay, so this is my complete if function. The only thing I have to do is finish up my logical test where there's two possible things that will trigger a true result. So I go to my AND function and say, well, what are the two things? Well, their experience needs to be um, greater than equal to 9, comma. Well, what else needs to be true? Well, their certified needs to be equal to, in this case, yes. Since this is a text field, I'm putting yes in quotation marks. It's a literal string. So notice my AND function is the logical test of my IF function. Two things need to be true. Experience needs to be greater than or equal to 9. Certified needs to be yes. When I press Enter, my first employee gets a $1,200 bonus. They've got more than nine years of experience. They are certified, so they get $100 times years of experience. Now I should be able to just go to this one function, and I'm going to autofill it down. And then I'll just look through a few to see if it seems accurate. Here we go, person number four. They do have more than nine years of experience, but they are not certified. Since both criteria aren't true, they get the lower bonus rate of $50 times years of experience. And that, of course, 50 times 11 would be 550. And, oh, here's another situation. The employee was certified, but they didn't have the minimum nine years of experience, so they also get the lower bonus level. Watch what happens if we just change this seven to a nine, though. Watch their bonus should jump all the way up to 900 bucks here as soon as I press enter. There we go, because once they've hit that minimum criteria for experience and they've already got the certification, you've got it, they've got the bigger bonus level. So that is an if function that's relying on an and function for the logical test. What other problem did you have on here? 
Um, this is kind of a student registration scenario. If the student has passed the certification test, getting an 80% or higher, or they've passed the prep class getting 70% or higher, they can register for the next class. So where before we had an AND function scenario, now we have an OR function scenario. An AND function requires that both or all conditions are true. An OR simply requires that any one of the conditions can be true. So very similar structure though. Equals if. I'm going to go ahead and write my OR function first just to get it out of my way. And by the way, you don't have to do I mean, you could keep going linearly through this. But it's easier for me if I work on one function at a time. So I'm going to say if OR. All right, well, if what's the true result? Can the student register? Yes, they can. What's the false result? No, they cannot. So there's my IF function. What are the two things that could possibly allow a student to register? I have to look at my directions again certification test. So I'm inside of my OR function. Certification is going to be greater than equal to 80 comma, which is the other part of my OR function, which is going to be prep class greater than equal to 70. So if either of these conditions are true, then my IF function is going to give me the true result. I'll press enter. Can a student register? Yes, they can. They took the certification and the prep course, and they did better than the minimums in both areas, so they can definitely register. Let's see what else we've got. Um, do I have a student that's done both? I just used random data here, so it looks like my no student here, they didn't meet the minimum for either. Oh, here we go. Here's a good example. Here's a yes. This student, they didn't do very well on the certification, but they did meet the minimum criteria for the prep course, so they can register for the next class. Um, same thing over here, didn't do well on the cert. In fact, these two students didn't do well on the certification test, but they did do well on the prep course, so they can register for the next level class. And do we have a situation? Yeah, let's let's play, let's make one up here. So this student did very poorly in the prep course and they were close in the certification. What if I change their score to 81? Watch the can register should change to a yes. Scroll up here a little bit. Press enter. There we go. So yeah, they didn't do well in the prep, but they did pretty good on the uh, certification, so now they can register for the next class. So there we go. So there's uh, another if function using another logical test function, in this case the or function. Have fun with that.